Hi guys, welcome back to Samatsa on Base. Today we're reviewing the Line 6 Relay G55 Guitar Wireless. This is the transmitter. Um, it shows you, if I turn that on, the channel, the expected time that it will run for, and it also, um, you can mute it, there's a button on the top there, and it also shows you the battery level and the little icon right there. You've got a select button. You can select different channels. And uh, you can also select high or low power mode. So low power mode, if you're closer to the receiver, uh, your battery will last longer. And the value button just selects. So you've got the on-off switch, the mute button, a very sturdy belt clip on the back. And, and that's about it. It's very simple. Now, so on the receiver you have the channel select which needs to match your transmitter. If I turn the transmitter off, you normally dial this in to find the least number of lights in this row which shows you how much wireless activity is on that particular channel and you have 12 channels to choose from. I've got this on channel 3. This one here shows you the battery level of the transmitter which is very very handy. And this one here shows you your signal. So when I turn this on, you can see I have a signal level there and I'll just mute that. And that flashes the light red on the front there. So you can see that it's muted. With the X Vive, we had noise on this particular base because the pickups are very sensitive. With this one here, if I unmute it, there's no noise at all. If I bring this transmitter in nice and close, you can hear a little bit of noise, but nowhere near the level of the X Vive. Now the advantage of this is that it clips to your belt around the back and so your transmitter is sitting on top of your amp, which is normally behind you, and then line of sight. And this goes a lot more distance. I think this, this is something like 120, no, it's more than that. Don't quote me, I think it's about 300 feet on this. It goes a long, long distance. I've tried, I've tried this. It's got the capability. So you clip it around the back. <laughs> you get very reliable wireless sound. Now the differences are, this one, the, the transmitter needs two AA batteries. They last approximately, it says about 8.4 hours, but realistically you get about seven hours. So I would get a couple of shows out of a pair of batteries, which is not too bad at all. The, um, the X Vive, in contrast, is USB rechargeable and a maximum five hours. Um, the latency on this is just under six milliseconds. On the line six, it's just under three. So it's got half the latency. And if you compare them sort of side by side, you, you can feel the difference. It's not big, but you can definitely tell that this one, the response is much quicker, right? Uh, not that the other one is bad or anything, it's just that this one is that little bit better. Now, the X Vibes, very, very handy, small form factor, uh, no cables, transmitter and receiver fit in your pocket or your gig bag or any small spot that you have. Uh, so, very convenient. Now, I found out since that it's much better if the outside of these are sort of facing each other. The problem with that is when this is on your amp back there and this one's sitting here, it's very hard to point it directly backwards. So you kind of try and fold it up against the base. So it's as close to a uh, direct line with the other one as possible. That way you get, uh, you get less chance of dropouts. The uh, line six, on the other hand, um, has got a very good uh, wireless connection. And, you know, you got the visuals there. 
of your battery levels, your your actual level of the instrument. So that shows up on the LED display. Around the back of the receiver, there's a balanced uh, out and there is a quarter inch jack out to go to your amplifier. So you can conceivably send one signal to your amp, one signal to the front of house if you wanted to, or to recording gear, whatever it is. Um, or if you're going ampless and you're going straight into front of house, you could just use the balanced out. So that's a, a unit with very nice features. If you were using one base, you could uh, clip that onto your strap and it would stay on there. It's, uh, it's quite a good unit. The connector on this is one of those tiny sort of three pin arrangements. You can get replacements for those. Uh, no problem at all. I've got a spare one that I keep in the case because this travels in a plastic case for me. Now conceivably you could you could fit it into your gig bag if you didn't have much other stuff in there. If you're like me and you carry stands and two iPads and all this other paraphernalia it's probably a little bit more difficult to do that. But it's a nice unit. Um, so again the X5 is just under $200 Australian. Um, the Line 6 probably just under 600 so you're looking at about three times the cost and of course you're looking at uh, better performance because it is receiver is mains powered two antennas it's it's got two two channels that's continuously monitoring to pick up the best signal as you move around so it's got that sort of stuff going for it um, where would I use one against the other if I was playing uh, close to my amp now, it wasn't moving around a lot, then the X5 makes a lot of sense in that it reduces cable clutter on stage. It's got, I think, four channels, so you could use four of them. Um, or is it six on these ones? I can't remember now, but anyway, you can use multiple units. This one's got 12 channels, so it gives you a better chance to find the channels with the least interference from wireless and today wireless is everywhere right on the 2.4 gigahertz band so you're getting a lot of a lot of stuff happening there a lot of traffic uh, i've been using the line six now for probably on three and a half years and i've never had a problem with any dropouts uh not being able to find a channel that gives me a very good connection uh without any losses on the front next to the channel selector there is a a cable emulation switch and what that does is it emulates a 30 foot guitar cable so it kind of rolls the highs off a little bit and i don't use it i think uh, it's more if you're playing guitar you'll find it useful because it takes the brittleness out of the top end but on a bass um you you probably don't need to use it or you can if it's uh if it's uh to your taste so i'm quite happy with with that type of sound so that works for me so again just a quick one to introduce the line six um that's how I would use it, that's how I do use it, that's how I use the X Vive. I hope you found the review of the Line 6 G55 guitar wireless useful. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. In the meantime, until the next video, keep making music, keep playing bass, keep well, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care. <laughs>